So here are the top 15. To this group, I say hi. I'm Tony Luffman. Thanks for watching the show. <laughs> we just watched the World Juniors, and you heard a lot of names that are the property of these teams. I think of number two, and I think of just how good Canada was and how good Team USA was, and they relied on some of their prospects. And at the bottom of the list, the Vancouver Canucks, they've drafted well. I think guys like Brock Besser and former Rookie of the Year, Elias Pettersson, Quinn Hughes. That's how you put yourself in the top half. I turn now to you, Rupper, and I say of the 15 we just showed, which team is the most intriguing to you? The most intriguing to me, I'm going to go with the Colorado Avalanche. And the reason why I'm going to go with them, when you look at this team, we know about their on-ice product now, right? But if you date this back a little bit, there was that pick, that floating, the mysterious pick coming from the Ottawa Senators from the Matt Duchesne trade that, okay, uh, what year are we going to get this? Ottawa decided to use their pick the one year, which they get Brady Kachuk, and then they let it float to the next year. Everyone's like, why are you doing that? Ottawa, you're going to be terrible. You're giving one of the best up-and-coming teams in the NHL, the Colorado Avalanche, potential top pick of the draft. They don't get it. But they get a really good one in Bob oh, Byram. Yeah. And this is almost not even fair, EJ. I said this the other day, and I'll say it again. Bo Byram and Kale McCarr growing up together, Hello. running the streets out there in Colorado. I mean, it's going to be unbelievable because we know about the star power up front. But you get these two guys, well, I think, well, Kale McCarr is now. He's number one G now. I think Bo Byram has the potential to be a 1-2 defenseman in the National Hockey League. The future is so bright with this team. And Alex Newhook's in that mix, too. There's a yeah. lot of other prospects that go into this. Yeah. But I just can't keep my eyes off of the byram McCarr uh, tandem. Yeah. What, a what, what it could be. Yeah. yeah, they're loaded. I mean, the Colorado Avalanche. If things go their way, I mean, this is a team that could win multiple Stanley Cups with the players they have in their group. Uh, for me, I'm going to go with the New Jersey Devils. And the reason I'm going to do that is because this is a team that's had two first overall picks in the last couple of years. When you think about Nico Heischer and Jack Hughes. Now, they're not included in this group because they don't fit the criteria for our research group. We did a great job putting this together. But you see there, Alexander Holtz, we saw him for Team Sweden over in uh, at the World Junior Championships there, and uh, a goal scorer. Ty Smith was a first-round pick in 2018. He's going to be a stud. And he's a guy they've been waiting on him a little bit. Remember, he almost made the team out of his draft year, but they wisely waited. He's not the biggest guy. They wanted to give him some time to grow and develop. Dawson Mercer played really well. For Team Canada at the real most recent World Juniors. They added Nathan, or excuse me, the Nolan Foote in that deal with the Tampa Bay Lightning for, for Blake Coleman. So you go down the list here, uh, Maka Madulin, the Team Russia yep. kid, he was first round pick this year. He played really well, I think. Yes, He's got he a lot of upside to his game. They've got a lot of Kevin Ball, big, rangy defenseman, played for Team Canada at the World Juniors last year. So they've got a lot of picks. And a lot of really interesting prospects. Paul Castron, the scouting director there. A whole bunch of people involved with that from Tommy Fitzgerald, the general manager. Scotty Lachance, Jim Mill, Andy Schmidt, who does a great job scouting the CHL. So I think the Devils have a lot of prospects. And I think Kenny Danico is in the part that can lot waiting because he knows <laughs> if I don't give the Devils some love, he'll be mad at me. But the Devils, it'll be interesting to see how all those kids can kind of move through that pipeline and join the young players they have now like a use and like a he as the Devils continue to rebuild. Three years is a pretty good window of opportunity for a team to help itself through the draft. And when you look at the teams that have been able to make an ascent, they tell us something. This one in particular, the Anaheim Ducks. Remember when they won all those division titles in a row? Well, now look at what they've done with their prospect pipeline. 21, then 12. This year, number six. And they've got... Muhammad Ali Gris. Before the Canada <laughs> game, he stood there and he delivered yeah. on the big, bold words that he said. They haven't faced a team like us. We all watched it. We all experienced it. Yeah. The Ducks, not just Zegris, but they've got a host of young talent where all of a sudden, the only guy they have left from the 07 Cup winner is Ryan Getzlaff. It's time for them to move forward. They've done that. How have they been effective in doing it? Well, they've done a good job because some of the guys, and we said at the top of the show, they aren't on this list. They, they have some really young players. It yeah. just didn't qualify for what, what yeah. we're call, calling a Comte, prospect. Comtois, Troy Terry, yeah, so yes. you got So those guys are, are, are good, and they're yeah. there, and they're ready to, to keep developing. Yeah. Um, when you look at that list uh, now of the players that are on it, and, and again, we, you got to go back to Zegris, what he showed and yeah. what he can be. But Jamie Drysdale, I love that pick as well. Sure. You know, so Zegris is just a, a player that I, I, 
What I learned about him is his his attitude that we saw. He's a fierce competitor. Swag. Not that I didn't doubt that before, but I didn't know that about him. And now you hear him say the things, the way he reacts on the ice. Those that's that's a leadership quality that you want on your team. So he's huge. And then Jamie Drysdale is the other one that stands out to me the most. Yeah. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, when you have an elite center forward like Zegras, and then you add to the mix, you have a, a young defenseman as well like Jamie Drysdale, right shot kid, can can make things happen from the blue line. Those are the those are the pillars of teams that win championships. I mean, when the Ducks were were winning, you know, think about it. They had, uh, you know, they've had Getzlaff as a big time center. They had players like Niedermeyer and Pronger be there. You have that big center. You have those really high end defensemen. So this is what you like about the Ducks. They have a Zegras and they have a Jamie Drysdale. These are two kids that could be the pillars of that next yeah. Ducks run down the road. Because for me, you always need centers. You always need D. Those are the guys that drive winning for your group. So I like what they've done there. And they also have Henry Thrun and Jackson Lacombe yeah. from Team USA. Thrun was for really viewer, nice. For viewers years, yeah. out there who just watched the World Juniors, they saw those two kids be a big part of it for a gold medal winning team from the Americans. So, uh, again, more young players that they can add to the mix there. The Ducks have done a good job over the years of identifying players, and they've drafted a lot of good defensemen over time. And unfortunately for them, they lost a pretty good one due to all the machinations of the expansion draft yeah. with Vegas when you think about uh, Shea Theodore. Yeah, and uh, well, you called Thrun. What was he? Thrun, Thrun, Thrun DMC. DMC. Thrun DMC <laughs> here in the play. Era, era, during the, era. Yeah, during the World <laughs> Juniors. But yeah, no, there's a great point. But they, they still have Cam Fowler. And, yep. and one thing that I like to look at these lists and then look at the NHL squad, yeah. they still have an age-appropriate goaltender that I still oh, yeah. think will win oh, the best trophies. One of the best. Plural. So John Gibson is there. So the sooner these guys get acclimated and get going, I think Zegers and Drysdale have a great shot yeah. of making the roster. This team could be very dangerous in the future. Zegers and Gibson can show each other their gold medals from the there World Juniors. Go.